We have more information for you on the deadly fire at the Leo Palouche Senior Citizen Housing Complex in Allen Park. Our Nima Shafay is live now outside with details on the fight to save seniors from the flames. Nima. Joanne, a scary situation at that. I'll tell you what, all this morning we were live out here and the stories coming from these people are horrific. People having to hang outside their windows waiting for firefighters to rescue them from their second story windows. This is a live picture now of Allen Park Firefighters and Property Restoration Company going through that second floor. That where you see that gentleman in the window is where the fire started and where the fire was primarily contained to before it actually spread to other units on the second floor. And we know that there is uh, a one person that has died as a result of this fire, their identity being withheld until they can notify the family. But all of this, as the, continue, the investigation into what happened continues. It was like a scene out of a movie. More than a dozen fire trucks outside the senior living facility. We had a call this morning around just before 5 a.m. of a fire here at the Palouse Senior Housing Center. 64 people in total called this complex home. Many waking up to smoke and firefighters trying to save them. Wake up and smoke in your apartment and you, you haven't been smoking or anything. It's scary. I looked out the window to see what all the noise was and there was firemen out there and they were telling me to push, break my screen. June wasn't the only one rescued. Close to a dozen of our friends here were taken to the hospital. One of those people did pass away. We do have one fatality at this time. Dolores McKernan lived just two doors down from where the fire started. I got up because I kept listening and I thought it was my alarm and it wasn't and then I thought, my God, what's happening? And just listening to her, you realize she's thankful to be alive. She's called this complex home for years and she's never had to evacuate because of a fire. Today was her first time. I was frozen on that ladder. I was holding on. I wouldn't let go and he kept begging me to let go of, and he said, you have to let go and I was just hysterical. In total, Allen Park Fire Chief Doug LaFont says more than two dozen people were rescued from the second floor. His mother, who lives here, one of the many his firefighters had to carry to safety. Our guys performed about 30 ladder rescues along with the neighboring communities um, from the second floor of the building. A team effort, thanks to firefighters from surrounding communities. Allen Park, Lincoln Park, Taylor, Southgate, Wyandotte, Dearborn, and Dearborn Heights were all here to assist us. And again, one person is dead, but firefighters uh, and, and, and the uh, housing director here not releasing the name of that person pending notification of the family. We do know close to a source close to this investigation tells me that while the investigation into what happened, uh, what caused this is still ongoing, they do tell me that there is still a number of people still in the hospital this noon with some serious uh, injuries, not calling them critical, just calling them serious. We will continue to keep you updated on this still developing story. Out of Allen Park. I'm Nima Shafay, 7 Action News. Such fear.